uh, we have a uh, highly uh, commended, uh, and this goes to Ogdenbi uh, Chinbendu Anika. Uh, this is for uh, her work with uh, in Net Zero, which included uh, participation in a study which found low carbon renewable fuels uh, currently contribute to 20, only 25% share in electricity, but in the net zero scenario, the share needs to increase to 90% by 2050, <coughs> so highlighting a significant target of what needs to be achieved globally. Also, uh, the study found 20% energy emission reduction from the transport se sector is re required for net zero. Uh, that carbon uh, sequestration solutions are required to facilitate the energy sector's net zero transition and um, that biogas, green ammonia, green ethanol and green hydrogen collectively have enormous potential for contributing 20% towards uh, net, um, net zero uh, emission actualization by 2050. Um, again, Ogemdi, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, uh, had uh, joined the DMU Sustainability Advocates team at DMU and uh, also uh, partook in the carbon literacy training. We don't have anyone to give us a drum roll, unfortunately, unless you want to do that. So this, uh, this recognised research or innovations undertaken at DMU to reduce energy consumption or carbon emissions. And our winner's main focus was uh, finding ways to do this through his research and additional activities linked to the local community. The research explored how owner occupiers can be, you, somebody worked out who it is yet, <laughs> can better uh, engage to motivate themselves to retrofit their homes and reduce carbon emissions. Also, uh, this individual is a uh, environmental lead for a local charity and is a carbon literacy trainer and also uh, coordinated a sustainability audit program for local SMEs in the summer. So our winner is John Rowlett. Thank you. He's, 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 he's away on holiday drive forward the area of uh, reducing climate change in all aspects of health and healthcare. And uh, this um, particular award was for research or innovations undertaken at DMU to create a more sustainable healthcare system. And drum roll please. Our winner is Dr. Kylie Boyle-Wynn. And this, uh, um, for those of you who know uh, Kylie's, well, you could explain it if you'd like. Would no, you no, like I'm that? I've sure got something written down. I have got something, right. <laughs> yeah. So Kylie helps to lead, or does lead, the uh, Leicester Cloth Nappy Library a community not-for-profit organisation run by volunteers and funded by DMU, Leicester City Council and uh, public donations. Uh, and the Nappy Library aims to reduce the amount of waste and environmental degradation caused by the, um, the early parenting period uh, by supporting parents and carers to use reusable alternatives to single-use nappies, wipes and other products. So a remarkable piece of work uh, in Leicester and for those of you who have got children and have, uh, um, or can remember the period when they were in nappies, you get through a lot of nappies. <laughs> and you put a lot of nappies in the bin. Well, I, I know I did, because I'm a father of twins. Right? So, so for four years, there were, uh, yeah, there was a skip out somewhere. <laughs> 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 Promoting climate action. And the winner is Dr. Kayung Sung. I do, I do realise, we'll, are we doing the drum roll thing or not? <laughs> I'm just bringing everyone down to my level of shambolicness. <laughs> we, start, we started off professionally, but like, well, we didn't, did we? Um, so the, 
This category uh, is recognises research for climate justice, equality, decolonising, climate governance, law and human rights. So quite a broad, uh, um, broad category uh, focused on climate justice. And our winner is Dr Kevin Farugia. So... Dr. Farouz, you might want to explain this a bit better than me, <laughs> but I'll, try, I'll, I'll start and you jump in and say no, 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 no. <laughs> so, um, Dr. Farouz discovered one of the most effective and efficient ways to identify finger marks on biodegradable plastic bags that are becoming increasingly popular with big name supermarkets and shops. These novel bags can be recyclable as well as biodegradable and even compostable, yet provide a challenge to police. Uh, um, when um, an, in police force development laboratories that are asked to process them during investigations when they are recovered from crime scenes. Dr Farooja has identified uh, finger mark development techniques for the use on the surfaces of these uh, bags and has published uh, articles which will aid forensic practitioners around the world as they interact with these emerging plastic uh, substrates. Additionally, Dr. Farooja has replaced harmful chemical reagents that detrimentally impact the environment in his work and, inv and is investing alterna investigating alternatives into the hazardous salt <coughs> solvents used within forensic laboratories. This work uh, positively Im influences global climate justice systems for SDG 16 and can be used in investigations of all crimes, including environmental crimes. So, significant piece of work. Yes. So this is as good as it gets. Um, so, category two is climate, climate engagement champion, uh, demonstrating how staff or students have connected their work with local businesses, organisations or community groups to promote climate action. And... Um, I think what I'm going to do is announce the winner and then describe their work because it's a bit more personal, isn't it? But then it will reduce people doing the maths on, or is that me, or is it someone else? So uh, the winner, drum roll please, is Dr. Jessica Jin from HL. Jess is leading a project to increase the awareness of healthy eating, healthy food choices and environmental uh, protection uh, needed amongst school children in the city of Leicester to help them build hands-on skills to grow fresh ed edible plants and cook them. And uh, you're doing this with a number of schools, is that right Jess? Yeah, with, school, uh, with two schools and the uh, in that, in part of it. Yeah. Of the process. Yes. Fantastic. Congratulations. To, uh, to, uh, I'll deliver it. Don't worry. But feel free to... Uh, the DMU student graduate or team which has developed a business idea claiming at reducing... Uh, sorry, aimed at reducing climate impact. And this award goes to Kamal Shud. Shazazi, Shazadi, sorry. And, and the DMU and Actors teams. So is this this recognises the leadership of uh, Komal on this project, but also the brilliance of the uh, the and Actors projects this year, which have uh, five, uh, four projects in the city right now. Enviro Green, Smile, Welcome Home, and Salud Sihat. And they're working, uh, they've been working for uh, the past 12 months and are helping a lot of people in Leicester. Enviro Green produces fresh vegetables for students on campus. So some, some of you will have seen that we now have an allotment space on campus, currently on the move. Is that right, Carl? Yeah. So it was, it was uh, near Castle uh, Business School and it's now going to uh, back of Queens. Back to the back of Queens. So a uh, really nice resource, beautiful project that, that's uh, really encouraging students to grow things. 
The Smile Project uh, was able <coughs> to help more than 20 families in Leicester tackle dental pro poverty. Uh, the Welcome Home Project spoke to more than 50 homeless people by going uh, to streets and uh, offering hygiene stands in the city and uh, enabling homeless people to access uh, hygiene products. And the Salud Sahat is currently working on shipping medical e equipment to Kenya. Um, the Salud Sahat was also able to get a lot of medical equipment from different organisations uh, and recycle them to send to underdeveloped countries. So, remarkable piece of work. Uh, so. um, upcycling principle contributes to the reduction of solid waste and in industrial energy consumption, therefore resulting in reduced carbon and um, in the creative industry sector as an important climate action in arts and culture. As a result, um, Dr. Kai Yung Sung has produced Art with Upcycling, a public event as part of the Being Human Festival and a number of other exhibitions across the city. Um, she is currently a principal investigator in a AHRC research funded international upcycling network project from June. So leading the way. So congratulations. Uh, award number seven goes uh, to a group or, or team who have led impactful research or a campus innovation to reduce climate change. And this award goes to Jim Bowditch and the Estates team. Is Jim here? Yes. Hi. Uh, so, uh, this special this is this goes to the team, but there is a special uh, there's a special citation to you from uh, the uh, nominee who wishes to m remain late, nameless. Um, so Jim leads the estates team and is exceptionally pas passionate about our net zero target of 2032. He's the primary advocate of our heat decarbonisation plan, which aims to create an air source heat pump on campus which may provide up to 77% of our heating needs. Heat decarbonisation is a critical component uh, towards our eventual attainment of net zero, with heating uh, making up the bulk of our CO2 emissions. Jim actively engages with our energy team, who has pushed forward plans for the heat decarbonisation, liaison with the University Leadership Board, to champion the creation of a DMU energy centre and source the necessary funding. So that's a remarkable outstanding climate action advocate and our winner is, I, I am missing the drum roll, I'll level with you. Anyway. Our winner is Fiona Dixon. Here, I can't believe there's somebody not here. <laughs> We've used all the chairs. Uh, so, yeah, Fiona, uh, committed to <coughs> climate education at DMU since joining in 2015, designing a uh, new law distance learning module to address the rapidly evolving and complex tapestry of climate regulation. Um, and also introduced interdisciplinary experiential learning to the virtual classroom. Um, the teaching uh, applies a tool which engages students in a deeper level of understanding of the Paris Agreement on temperature goals and the net zero imperative. Uh, combining the, uh, a simulator built on best available science with other e-learning tools enables the students to advocate for and test in real time the implications of their proposed climate actions. Uh, it also offers a gamification format um, um, which uh, co-develops valuable employability skills. So, remarkable piece of work and uh, I shall make sure to get to you.